Hey guys, once again, welcome to my uh, channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be creating a dashboard in ServiceNow. ServiceNow is really growing. The demand for ServiceNow is increasing. And uh, it's very important that either you are like a ServiceNow admin and a Scrum Master and Agile coach, that is kind of very important that you tend to understand how you can create a dashboard. <laughs> Where you can pull in your different reports because service now is so broad there are two key things that make service now to stand out that you hear more you hear about incidents and in incidents you have multiple incidents on how you can give them you can like this is a free version for service now have multiple incidents that are in here how you can really like just see your service just see your uh, <clears throat> stuff from a glance excuse me so you can either kind of like see your incidents or if you are creating like a change control if like a scrum master and you're building a change this is where you can create a change but just as we have dashboard in our jira board so it's also important that you can also have a similar dashboard in service now here's a sample of a dashboard on jira i think we most people we do know how to create a simple dashboard uh, this is just a sample on how we'll be building something similar of this nature in our ServiceNow dashboard. Before we do, we can just first of all type in our filter here. We can just type simple type a dashboard. Once we type a dashboard, we'll see first that there are multiple. Okay, by nature, this is what comes by default. This is a free version of uh, of ServiceNow. You can get it um i'll put a link on, uh, on the description of this video on how you can get this and create so that you can be playing along in here you can do your things here and also boost your resume as well before we proceed please give a like to this video subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upload or uh, new videos that are, i do i'm going to be uploading we'll be talking more on service now giving an overview on the service now in my upcoming video so once again, this is a sample of a dashboard. If you happen to open here, this is an admin console. Open on this admin console, you see that there are, there's gonna be multiple um, uh, widgets or like they have different type of stuff that they have in here. Like you can see here, flow designer and all those type of things. This is not a good one that you can see. But if we happen to go back into this, we'll go back into our overview, we'll click on all, then once we click on all all the different widgets that are going to come back here let's just kind of look at um let's say like the uh atl i dashboard you will see that there are going to be multiple widgets that are going to pop up here you can see here that the way that were critical the three of them you have on assigned tasks you have zero you have tasks that were assigned to you all those type of stuff you can build all of this so in this tutorial, like as I mentioned, we're going to be creating a dashboard of ourselves. So for us to do that, first, we need to come back on this dashboard overview and we're going to create, create a dashboard. The first thing that we're going to do is let's just give it today. Let's give this. Uh, today is the 26th, 26th, uh, 2023. Now, you don't bother about the group. This is a uh like a free site you can pay in here you can take it off you can allow it to be active it can be built you can set the order if you know the group for example if you're in a place of work like you have the database group you have the web pro you have the info you have like the security you have like the networking you highlight the DevOps. you highlight the DevSecOps. you have the dba so those are the different groups that you might see in your place of work okay you might have the help desk they might also have their own group so if you are creating this ticket maybe you are like you know, of a, a service now admin it's very important that you understand how the type of group you are creating and the type of uh, report that you'll be generating so once you create this you need to hit submit so once you hit submit your dashboard has already been added here now in here you can add widgets like just like we have the widgets in a uh, in, uh, in Jira, you can also add widgets here, but it's not going to make more sense if you begin to add those widgets when you haven't generated all those reports. 
So once I come now back on my uh, on the, the view by default, you can see here that these are all the different um, dashboards that I clicked earlier. The ITL, um, ITIL dashboard, the admin console. So all of this you can see by default. You see that there are already stuff in here. And this is the test 126 2023 that I created. So if I happen to open this, you discover that it's going to add a blank. It says add widget using the, uh, the widget uh, picker. But to get us to get some meaning out of this, because we kind of like just trying to get us on how we can get more stuff in here, we're not going to add it through this way. So we're going to go back into this dashboard home and we'll come into our filter. Here, we're going to go and click for our reports. Now, it's very important that your dashboard is based on your report, depending on the team that you are supporting. If you are a Scrum Master, you are so you are engaged in change control, you are engaged in ticketing, or if you are a, uh, a service now admin, you guys are busy in ticketing. You can therefore now like ticketing or incidents or whatever, depending on the team you are working on, because most of your uh, service now is kind of based more on help desk, incidents, change control, and all those type of stuff. Remember, service now is so broad. Like as I mentioned, please subscribe to this video. We'll be breaking down all the different components that makes up service now in my upcoming video. Once you are in report, you need to come and click view and run. Once you click on view, once you click on view and run, it's gonna appear. So you can now see here your different reports, um, your reports, my reports, the group, the global, like as I explained earlier, your group might depend, okay? The database, uh, the Wipro, or whatever group that you have. Here you can click on create from this angle, or you can click create new from this end. Once you click on create new from this end, this uh, uh, dash area is going to appear where you need to give the title, okay? You need to title your report. So just as you have the different widgets in Jira, you need to title this. So let's put this as test uh, incident report view. It's a test incident report view. Now, there's a key difference that you need to see that you need to in show here, the source. If you are in a real world, okay, like in the business market, you need to be very mindful of where you are sourcing it. Most often, because once uh, the business in the real market, in the real working environment, you deal with tables. So you need to source it by tables. So you need to understand your source. But now, since we are working on a free, free version of service now, you can then source it. Build your data source from here. Then once you come under the data source, because if you happen to select tables, you're not going to have like the different type of tables that you have here. It's not, it's not going to give you stuff. Okay. Now, what though this will give you all this type of stuff, but you will not have data in here. Now, we need to source it to give us but on our data source. Once we source the data, let's take incidents and close. So, because we are dealing with ticketing, this is the first key thing that we need to do. Then you click next. Once you click next, it's very important that your data needs to make more sense on how you can present it to, you know, your, your boss, to a group of people who attend maybe like your ticketing meeting or like the service now or group, the cab group or whatever group that you kind of want to present. I always like to go with a histogram. So I will select this histogram and then I'll click the filter. So once I click the filter, then here are the conditions that I need to put. Just like you have the JQL uh, language that you need to query, to pull up your data or to like build up a good dashboard for your Jira. It's just the same like you need to have key, you need to pull in these conditions. Okay. For example, here, the first condition we're going to pull here is going to be, let's look for the state. Once we look for the state, we want to look at every ticket that we close. So, once you select the state, you can kind of like come here, you can look for an active, like activity due, activity end, activity start. So, so that at the end of your day or at the beginning of your day, before you prepare yourself for the upcoming day, you already know 
what you'll be preparing, how you what they what the what are the reports, how often you're gonna report this. So also to you as a like a coach or like an admin, you can now be talking to the team, hey, this ticket is due, this ticket is past is past due, you need to update this. So like here there are so many different uh conditions that you can put. Once now we have selected our state, there are also now some criteria that we can put here. For example, you can say this state is not, this state is one of, this state is one, it's not one of, this state is empty, this state is not empty, it's less than this. So these are conditions based on the type of report that you want to generate. Now, but for he, here in this tutorial, we'll be looking at the states that are kind of in the closed state. So I'll select my closed state, then we are going to run. Once we run this, we see that this is going to generate us a report that is going to look like this. This is now beginning now to make some sense for us. So you can now see the different stage. You can see here, see here that range, the minimum, the maximum, and the total number of counts. So now here, we need to ensure that we save this. We're going to save this. Then once we save it, we're going to hit our next. Now, once you hit next year, you can now measure by. Is it by business rules? Because in here, once this drop down that you click down this drop down here, you can see you want to measure it by the incident, by the child incident, by the escalation, by the impact, the uh, incident state, they notify. So it depends on the group of which you are presenting them to. You can measure this by state. You can measure this by transfer reason. So it all depends on the group or the, the class of people you are trying to present this uh, particular change to. So we're just going to allow it for our business resolve time. Now, very important, before, if you happen to just save this as it is like this, you're not going to be able to have it in your dashboard. I'm going now to move now this uh, particular uh, dashboard that we created, move it now into our dashboard. So we're going to click share. Once we click on share, we'll now see here, you can just share this pew, or you can keep it in the schedule stage, L or you can export it as a PDF and share it to your stakeholders so that they can just see just what you are seeing here. They cannot see a bunch of different stuff. You have concise your report, making your dashboard to be so simple and easy for someone to read at a glance. Now, we'll be adding this to our ServiceNow dashboard. So, we click on Add Dashboard, then this little drop down now is going to appear. So, now, the dashboard that you happen to use this, this user overview, gonna come by default but because we had already created a dashboard we need to select our own dashboard so that if you have multiple teams or multiple stakeholders that you do present this to remember your stakes your stakeholders could be external or they could be internal you need to select the right board so once you click on this dash uh, drop down menu let's select what dashboard that we created uh, the dashboard that we created I think was test 126 2023 so I'm gonna select this then I will this so once i add this you can now see that it's populating now up where we can now have now a simple dashboard of our own so you can now see here that we had the test incident report overview i mean the test incident report view so you can now see here that it was just a test like as i mentioned based on the group of people you are presenting your cr2 is very important or this incident Another key way that we can come here again is let's go back here and create a new report again. And in this report, we're gonna look for like change control that anything. Kind of like just tell you how what is like. So let's just give this like a uh, close. It's our close CR. We're still gonna go down to source it from our incident. Remember, based on the organization, you can look it from tables. And if you look at it from table, it's, it's still fine. Then you hit your next. And also, too, one cool thing is you can either look at it in the form of a bar, in the form of a histogram, in the form of a, a, a horizontal bar. You can also look at it in the form of a, a perito. Also, too, you can have it a donut. You can have it a pie chart. And also, you can have it in a um, semi donut, depending on how you like to kind of like get it. But I like to go. With a histogram because it gives me some kind of clean and clear view. So once I hit my next, you can see that it automatically generates this. 
the reason why it automatically generate this is because it's kind of like pulling by default okay activities that are fall but now i'm going to search or like kind of like get in some of my filters i will select the filter then these conditions is going to pop up so let me just kind of like look at um the changes that are kind of like assigned I can just say they are assigned to like anything okay they are assigned to anything is anything it's assigned to just random but remember there are multiple conditions you need to pull here depending on what you want so if we should look at this because it's a free version of uh service now where multiple people are kind of getting in thing in here we're just trying to get this as a tutorial and if i happen to run you can see here that this is these are like changes oh you no know, they are just they are just assigned to anything they are just random stuff that people are doing in here what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit our save once we have saved this we're gonna share it okay once we share it we'll add it now into our dashboard then our dashboard that we are adding it to remember again is test 11 test 126 2023 and you add your save once you add your save you can see that now that you have two dashboards you have your closed cr then you also have your what your incident report cr you are beginning now to build your dashboard so once you come depending on what you want depending on the team you are presenting to you can then now build all of this dashboard get them in and you'll be talking with actual figures without them seeing a bunch of jargon so you can just have this just as remember as you have a simple dashboard for your jira it's very important that as a scrum master as the marketing as the market is beginning to get tight these are some additional skills you can put in your belt that will cause you to stand out in the market if you found this video helpful give it a like drop some comments whatever video you want to get about service now give it in the description i mean put it in a in the comment section I will respond to it and thank you and see you in my next video.